What's up, good people of the world? It's your man, the Big Heavy, at the beautiful Lake Murray at Dreyer State Park in South Carolina. And want to give you a little walkthrough of our family car camping setup. I don't know if uh, you came from a similar background, but I started most of my outdoor adventures backpacking, went way down the ultralight rabbit hole. And once we had kids and started doing more family oriented adventures, it became clear that rolling out in your two pound tent that's about the size of a coffin is not the right way to do it. So I've been gradually tweaking my setup. I think we've finally got it pretty much dialed in and I want to give you a little walkthrough of what we got. So let's start with, I think the coolest part of the action, which is the camp kitchen. So let me walk you through what we got cooking here. You may have seen some of my other reviews where I cover a lot of power banks, for this particular weekend, we brought out the Blue Eddy and I'm going to do a little field report. So look for that. We've got the, uh, the Ice Co portable refrigerator and this was a game changer for family camping. Basically because instead of having your stuff be either too cold or too hot and then ending up floating in a river of ice at the end of your weekend, you've got refrigeration that you can dial in and adjust and control. Got a uh, pretty cool setup here. I actually got this, um, I think for my birthday or for Christmas or something from uh, my parents, but it's the Sylvan Sport outdoor kitchen thing. I'll put links to all this stuff in the bottom if you wanna check it out. Super cool, uh, folds up to like a briefcase size thing. I'll put a little footage of what it looks like folded up later on. But you know, your alternative is to build a chuck box and you can build something super cool and custom, but this saves the time, gets really compact, really lightweight has this little uh, you know, side shelf thing. You got your little uh, bin over there to do your, your washing in. This particular campsite, water source is five feet away. So that's kind of cool, um, if not a bit unusual. And you got you know places to kind of stash everything. You got these little shelves in here, which are super cool. So really thoughtful and well-designed bit of gear. Also for our cooking, we've got a Coleman white gas stove this we got on eBay. It's like a vintage 1980s era, you know, still back when they were made in the USA um, type deal. This is the thing I used when I was going camping with the scouts back when I was a kid. It's a little bit of a nostalgia factor there, which, you know, is neither here nor there. That may resonate with you or not, but I kind of like the white gas, um, which is basically refined, uh, more refined gasoline without any additives or anything, since you don't end up with those propane canisters that ultimately end up sitting in a landfill somewhere, just getting thrown away. So that's uh, that's kind of why I went with that. Um, you know, the negative is you gotta pump it up, but don't find that to be too big a deal. Other interesting thing in our kitchen, we've got a bunch of these, or a couple of these uh, Plano bins. Um, I can't remember what it's called, I'll put a link to it. What I like is it's pretty waterproof, pretty animal proof. If you got that thing in a monsoon or had a bear after it, that would obviously get shredded or get wet. But you know, anything up to a fairly decent rain, your food's going to stay dry. It's going to keep out you know kind of low grade animals. So that works out pretty well. Um, I think I really like is we've got this uh, Sylvania or uh, I can't remember who makes it actually, but I'll put a link in this cook set. Um, <laughs> which you can kind of see hidden down here. And it's, you know, really nice pots, good solid stainless, heavy duty, everything nests into each other and just really thoughtful and well-designed. Um, use that for a few trips. New for this trip, we're going with a percolator coffee maker. Seems so far so good. The logic behind that is to get a little more coffee in the morning since the French press wasn't cutting it. So that's our kitchen setup. Moving on to tents. Uh, you can see I've got my kind of quasi backpacking four person uh, Sierra Designs. Can't remember the exact model, but you know, as usual, I'll put a link in there. I've got an REI uh, four person tall dome. What I like about the dome, I can actually stand up in there. So that's a plus. Um, you know, this guy I use for the Sierra Designs, used for bicycle trips and things like that. We also have a huge six person dome, which, you know, like all things with tents, the six is a little optimistic. Um, you know, it ends up being more like a five and a half person, so it was a little cramped. Plus it takes up a huge amount of space. So we've kind of switched to doing these two, this two tent 
um, thing when we're on family campouts, which is, is kind of nice. And I want to show you the inside since Mrs. Big Heavy is taking a nap in there, but we generally still use our backpacking, sleeping bags, ground pads. Uh, we bring out some liners and I'll you know, link all this stuff. The liners are nice, especially this time of year. It's kind of the late summer in the South and we'll, you know, I'll at least essentially just sleep in that sleeping bag liner on top of my ground pad and then pull out over my sleeping bag if it gets cold during the night. Um, the liner is also at a few degrees in the winter and that's where you end up kind of sweating and stinking so you can wash those instead of trying to wash your sleeping bag, which is always a bit of hassle. Moving on to our eating area and most um, you know, state park campsites will have a picnic table of some sort. Got a Walmart tablecloth. That's a new addition for this trip, kind of something we learned along the way. Definitely were a worthwhile addition. Um, in terms of water storage, obviously a little less relevant here since we've got the water fountain or the water line 10 feet away from camp. But I use, I have a couple of these five gallon um, military water jugs and I'll put a link to where you get these. If you go on Amazon or whatnot, they're pretty expensive. If you actually get them directly from the manufacturer, which is this, uh, apparently this LC Industries company, you can get them a lot cheaper. The LC Industries website's really janky, but they shipped in like two days. And apparently they're made by uh, blind people or something like that. So they're kind of helping out folks, which is neat. And the huge um, game changer with these is this hose. I'll put a link to that. That I think was something I had to get on Amazon, but basically just plugs right into the bottle. You get a little spout on the end, be able to control the water flow without having to dump that thing up and down constantly. I think I'll show you is camp seating. So I got these Eno chairs. It's a apparently a lounger DL something or other. Got a couple of these uh, REI Helinox um, knockoff chairs. And I've also got the bigger Helinox chair. Ever wonder why every talking head on YouTube asks you to hit the like and subscribe button at the end of their video? You were right, because we're living in a computer simulation. And our benevolent robotic overlords get just a little bit of energy every time you hit that like. So do me, the rest of civilization, and our benevolent robotic overlords a favor. Mash that subscribe, be kind to each other, keep living your simulated dream.